right, guys, we're going to get started on our reading interactive notebook. So if you would grab your uh, reading and grammar notebook, your plastic snap close envelope, scissors, glue, and something to write with. Okay, you need those five things. And I'm going to head over to the camera and I will meet you there. <clears throat> All right, let's pack this up just a smidge. All right, so we need scissors, glue, something to write with, our plastic closure. Um, you're gonna reach in here and grab out your context clues page. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and cut out this page. We're gonna cut out little flaps in there too. So let's go ahead and listen to let's do okay. That'll be a good cutting one. Can't keep my thoughts to myself. Keep got to some more, put them back up on the shelf. In case my little baby girl is in need. Am I coming out of that field? Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. I've been feeling it since 1966 now. Might be over now, but I feel it still. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. Let me kick it like it's 1986 now. We're gonna cut these little doors open too. All right, so that should be enough time to get that cut out. All right, we are in the reading section. So we have our reading and grammar. We're in the reading section in the back here. Go to the very last page. So we're doing them all in order. Don't skip any pages. Just keep going. Keep going. And we did the drive-in story yesterday. And now we're going to glue this context clues in. Just need to glue the top part here. And the side. All right. Glue back down. All right. 
All right, so once you have that glued in, we're going to be explaining what each of these um, topic or these um, parts mean. All right, so for context clues, clues in the text that a reader can use to determine the meaning of an unknown word. So you might hear a word that you didn't know before, but you read the rest of it and it tells you what it means. All right. So the first type is if you read a word you don't understand in a story and then they provide the definition. So we're going to open that up. So we can say um, um, I was parched. Okay, That's our word we don't know. So, I drank an entire gallon of water. Okay, so what does parched mean? It means you are super thirsty. So, a definition explains what a word means. That's the job of the definition, okay? Okay. Go ahead and pause if you need to to get that all written down. Definition in context clues just means it explains what a word means. Okay, a synonym. So if you didn't know what the word alien meant, it could be like... Um, I was like an alien or a visitor from outer space. All right, so alien, we might not know what it means, but we can also say a visitor from outer space. So it's using a word that is similar. Okay, so when you use a word that's similar to alien, then we can figure out what it means. It might be in the same sentence. Okay. Um, you could also say, like, I was like an alien or a foreigner when I was visiting outer space. Okay. Go ahead and pause to get that written down if you need more time. And if we're you're with me, then we're going to do antonym. Okay. So... It was not humid outside because I was freezing and dry. So Humid means that it's cold and dry. It's the opposite. Okay. Using a word that is the opposite. Okay. So it means the opposite of the word that we're using. 
that's a T and an E at the end there. Messed that up, didn't I? Okay. I'm going to move that up. If you need to pause, you can do that. It was not humid outside because I was freezing and dry. So that using an antonym is using a word that is the opposite. It means the opposite of the word. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and pause if you need to because we're going to move on to the next one. Example. Okay. Um, let's think about this. Um, let's see. He was a... Legislator just like our governor. I don't know. I'm just making it up. So if we don't know what a legislator is, it's somebody who works in government just like our governor. So using an example to explain the meaning. Okay. Using an example to explain the meaning is, use, is one of our context clues. Okay, go ahead and push pause if you are still writing. And the last one we're going to do is infer. Infer. Okay, so if we did a word like um, she was my opponent. So I wanted to beat her in the race. If I didn't know what opponent means, it, I know that I'm racing this person and I want to beat her. I want to win in the race. So infer means um, to um, explain without saying um, um, exactly what the word means. Okay, let's go ahead and write that down. Okay, so we're kind of like reading between the lines. I might not have known what the opponent was, but if I want to win in the race, that means that's the person who's against me, racing against me. All right, go ahead and pause if you need to get this word written down. Make sure you have all of it written down. This one's not going to fit underneath the thing, but that's okay. All right, so when you're all the way finished, go ahead and smooth those over and close your book, and you are all set. Okay, so um, let me close this out and come back and talk to you. All right, so what you have left today is you have a math lesson, and then we're working in our social studies and science geography book. All right, so um, I've actually already done the math video, so you can head there. 
Um, and then in, after your math video, head to social studies and science. All right, guys, I will see you there.